So now we put everything back. So the testing I did so far uh, make sure that uh, autofocus is broken still. Uh, but image stabilizer is working. So put, if I put on the menu, image stabilizer, you see, I can hear the parking of the image stabilizer. If I look through the viewfinder, uh, without and with, so there's a difference. So basically, image stabilizer is working with the menu. So now uh, we need to continue to fix the autofocus. We need to disassemble the, the front part. So there's nine screw here, so we have to first take care of them. The next is take out this uh, two circuit board. There's a ground pin there down. Disconnect uh, the two circuit board. So the next is just to take off uh, this rubber, uh, this rubber ring. So if you can see, uh, there's something hiding there down. Oh, this one's just off. So this is uh, hook up to the manual. Let's put it aside. So the next is to take off these two uh, big screw that uh, fix this part uh, on the on the lenses so remove them and this one looks like can be removed but if i don't detach this uh, five um, connections looks like the circuit board will block them and uh, looks like i have to uh, to uh, solder this one off so before I just take them off, I have to remember the white, blue, black, and also the yellow, uh, black. So I have to write it down. So now the two boards are off. So from just carefully exam, looks like everything is good. Nothing obviously wrong here. So I guess we have to continue to uh, find out where is the problem. Now carefully remove it. So peel off this rubber ring, I can see some the metal cover here. Um, so remove those. You will see a uh, a hole I think we have to uh, take off those uh, spinning wheel So this is the last one, the six. Oops. And now this thing is off. Oh. So from here you can see the the motto here. That's the auto for auto focus. So they do have some sort inside of those lenses, so I clean them up. Um, and I also see um, the motor spin, no problem, very freely. And uh, from the circuits, you can see that these three, uh, these three pin, they call the G, I, and the C, 
These three pins are used to drive the motor. He gives the power to the motor. And uh, these two pins, yellow pin and black pin, it's uh, acting as a stepping. So uh, he knows uh, accu uh, by judging the stepping, he knows how far uh, this motor rotates. Um, so that's basically how this thing is work. Um, I don't think at this time I need to disassemble this part. Looks like there's all fixed lenses. So uh, as soon as I see the USM model and clean them up, I think I think I'm I'm done. Um, so I put I'm going to put everything back. So install uh, this uh, this six. Uh, the screw back, this is the most uh, challenging part because first those screws won't don't have magnets it's very hard to uh, to uh, to locate them and uh, plus uh, the track under there's a spring there so give a lot of resistance so they can stay at its place this is the most challenging part then after this six screw then we take back the, put back the tape Yep. So next, just put the brushes back. While we just put it back, make sure the brushes won't uh, get hurt. Now everything is good. Can test the brushes. Make sure the brushes are still. This is status brushes, so make sure they just work. Well, okay, looks like it's fine. So mount back the two screw here. So then everything uh, was tight and rotate well. Make sure the manual override, you see, still everything works. That is good. Okay. So next is put the zoom, the ring back. So because they have brushes inside, make sure when you install, don't break them. Very nicely and gentle, and uh, align this one here. This one has to be go back to the pin. Now it's back. So uh, check everything is good. The brushes inside everything is uh, still good. All right, let's uh, put those uh, the circuit board back. So put the circuit board and uh, solder the all the wire bike back. So now uh, I'm ready to put back. I think these brushes has to be put it here and. Um, I have to install this one. So I put back all those nine of those screws and uh, so I think this part is pretty much done. Then we just put this uh, uh, put this back. Now it's time to put everything back. So after putting everything back, I think this lens is uh, still manual on the uh, uh, image stabilizer. Autofocus didn't work. Um, I think I have a feeling uh, it's because of the the owner when uh, this lens was dropping to uh, the sea or kind of water. And after that, it was not taken care of very carefully and uh, uh, eventually those uh, the sword uh, gets uh, um, the grinding or causing a lot of uh, some more uh, powder that goes into the lens and causing those uh, erosion or um, uh, shortcut or those uh, circuits board. Um, I have a strong feeling uh, uh, 
the circuits board, the two of them, one is for a stepping, one is for a driven, the driven. Uh, that is the one, the left one that driven the lenses, the USM model, uh, that is the one causing the problem. By changing that circuit, this one might back to function. But that's my guessing. So um, uh, that's uh, the disassemble and uh, put back everything of this Canon uh, 7, uh, 70 to 200 millimeter f2.8 lenses. Um, hope for, hopefully uh, it can give you some idea how um, this lens is working and uh, uh, that's the end of this video. If you like it, please uh, uh, subscribe and also uh, sum it up. Okay, thank you for watching.